All right, the Who is Tommy back on Broadway, causing quite a stir. Take a look right here. You feel me coming. I Incredible, that's the voice of our next guest who shines in the rock opera in the role of Tommy. Ali Borski, thank you so much for being here and congrats on making your Broadway yeah. debut. Thank what you. a big Thanks deal. For me. I have to tell you, Dan has been telling me all morning he went yeah. and saw Tommy, how amazing you are. Unbelievable. Thanks, I mean, Dan. I texted everybody I knew. I was like, this guy is <laughs> it, go see the show. He said you're the standout. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so when you, you know, for, for you, were you a Who fan before this? Um, I knew like a few of their hits, yeah. um, and I'd heard of The Who, but I honestly wasn't much of a fan. Yeah. Or, not, not by choice, I just didn't really yeah. know them that well. Neither did I. But this show gave me the opportunity to become a super fan. Yeah. I did all of the research that every Who fan has done over their lifetime in the span of two months. Nice. <laughs> yeah. This being your first time on Broadway, I mean, congratulations on being such a success, first of all. Yeah, thank but you. like, what do you remember about your first performance? Yeah, I, uh, I especially remember my uh, first preview, and it was everything I wanted because there was 16 debuts in this in this cast of 30 wow. and so all of us just kind of really came on stage and we had this amazing ensemble moment where we shared in um, having our first time on a Broadway stage and the audience was just they went crazy. I mean, let me tell you, the audience was like another character yeah, in the show. It's true. I couldn't believe, I mean, middle of the show, people are standing up as if they're at a rock concert. Yeah. And then that last number, <laughs> there, I mean, it was unbelievable. But for, for, for those who don't know, I guess, tell us a little bit about the story and of the show, because you play a very interesting character. Yeah, so you know, it's based off of this original album, which is exploring um, this person, Tommy, who gets put into like a traumatized state at the age of four years old after witnessing a murder. Um, and then it's kind of about him distracting himself and going internal mm -hmm. throughout his entire life and all these people that sort of take advantage of him in that, um, in that state, and then his sort of uh, coming out of that and becoming the celebrity figure, mm -hmm. and then um, realizing that that in itself is also a dangerous thing, and at the end, shunning um, celebrity hmm. culture and just kind of turning back to family. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a great storyline, and yeah. also being a rock opera, what a demanding performance of you. Indeed. Yeah. How many shows a week, and how do you prepare for to all the choreography and all the singing? Yeah, it's eight shows a week. Um, so it requires a lot of warming up. Yes. Um, I warm up my muscles and I warm up, warm up my voice for about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also don't do too much outside of the show. You know, mm -hmm. I really kind of live like a, a monk lifestyle <laughs> outside of the show. But it's, it's worth it for something that's this cool. Life of a Broadway star. Yeah. And you got to uh, not only meet Pete Townsend, but perform with him that's right. as well. Yeah. saw that performance on Jimmy Fallon. What was that experience like for you to meet one of the originals? Mm -hmm. And then also, did you feel the nerves like, oh my gosh, I'm performing not only in front of him, but neck, like he's watching me do this kind yeah. of thing? Well, I think for me, like, the thing I love about everything I've ever done in terms of like theater is, is I love the writing. So yeah. to actually get to meet the original creator was yeah. incredible, but you know, you also want to make sure you're, you're honoring what they've created. Mm -hmm. um, so. I did all my research, I did all my dramaturgy work to make sure that I was respecting the thing he created and I think he appreciated that. I mean, he had so. a big part in selecting you. Yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What did he say? What did he say to you? Um, I mean, it, you know, only good things. He's really just, he, he appreciates that I've put so much work into the character and that he, he, he feels like I understand this character that he created when he was my age, um, which just feels wonderful. And, and to be able to perform with him is just... Yeah. I don't know. I, I still am trying to process it. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. I'm, uh, let's talk about your backstory for a bit. Your father mm -hmm. immigrated here from Morocco. You're mm -hmm. the first in your family to graduate college. Was there this pressure to not go into theater, or did they appreciate the fact that you were going the theater route? Yeah, I kind of had a, uh, you know, my whole childhood, everything was very um, mixed with, like, I had two different cultures that I got to grow up with, yeah. which was beautiful, and then... Um, when I decided to go into theater, I had a lot of support from my mom's side of the family and then not so much support from my dad's side mm -hmm. of the family just because of that, that idea of, you know, he immigrated here and um, worked really hard to like support us. And, and then when I was like, I'm gonna do art, that was a little scary to him. And mm -hmm. so I had to really work hard to prove to him that I could make a career out of it. Yeah. And once I did prove that, now he's fully on board. Yeah, and, um, sure. I've seen the show many times. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's been a really wonderful journey just like figuring that out, but right. it was hard in the beginning. I gotta know the next step for you. This is your first time on Broadway. Are we mm -hmm. gonna do 
Something else? We have a dream role? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'd love to do a comedy next. <laughs> <laughs> this show is wonderful, but I would love to uh, uh, do something a little comedic next. Or um, I'm also really interested in moving into TV mm -hmm. after this as well. What's your favorite um, show on right now? Yeah. Oh, uh, most recently, White Lotus. Uh, oh, yeah. yes, yeah. of course. There you go. I mean, your star is just going up, up, and away. I'm telling you, unbelievable. I just got to know, that last number, right? You guys approach. I don't want to give too much away, but you're, like, in the audience's face. When you see everybody's, like, what is it for you to see the reactions from the audience in that? Because you're kind of breaking that wall yeah. in the last part. Um, that's, like, you know, uh, my favorite part of the yeah. show. The, the whole show really talks about, um, I, I think for me at the end, it's kind of a shedding of your character and a mm -hmm. shedding of the story of, of choosing empathy at the end of the day. Yeah. And so that's really, like, getting rid of, of yourself and, and giving everything to the audience and the audience giving back to us. And it's just this energetic sharing of, mm. of like a celebration of music. And it's energetic really it was. Ali, you're going up, up and away, my friend. Thank you. Good to have you. Great really show. Really great to have you here. Go see the show. I knew nothing about it. I went in kind of blind with it. Came out. I was in awe.